PWCC is a great way to sell your sports cards. If you're looking for a way to support the Cajun Cardboard YouTube channel, consider using the promo code CAJUN, all caps, C-A-J-U-N, when you're selling your cards on the PWCC marketplace. All right, here we go. Another Digging for Gold episode. Uh, this is going to be 91, oh, excuse me, 91, 92 upper deck. Uh, we'll go in order. 93, this will be interesting, 93 Tops Archives, 1 through 150, but it's two sets with commons. Um, and 97 Finest Bronze and Silver. This I am uh, more excited about. <laughs> <laughs> this I'm very excited about because 97 Finest is awesome. And it looks like it's got Buku Jordans and Kobe's in there. So we're going to save the 97 Finest for the last. Let's start with the 91 Upper Deck European. And uh, this is one I can never figure out. Oh, here we go. Let's start. Let's start. Is it, let's see what languages these are in first and foremost. Uh, first of all, I can't see because it's too small. Uh, but I'm assuming that's in a different language. But it looks English to me. So I don't know what's happening here. Um, East All-Star team, MJ, of course, sitting right there between, uh, or right next to Phil and, uh, with right, you know, Phil right between MJ and, uh, and Pippen. Man, what a team this was. Uh, who would be the imposter? Michael Adams, probably the weakest player on here. Yeah, Rodman, Kevin Willis, actually. Kevin Willis would probably take the cake as the weakest player on here. Man, look at Reggie Lewis right there at the top. What could have been. So we'll put that one up there. Uh, and let me just start grabbing stuff. I don't, I don't know what language this is. Uh, it looks Italian. Okay, so I'm just guessing, but it looks Italian. Uh, the West All Stars, the West All Stars. Okay, so it looks like it's two copies of each. So let's see what we got here. So West, West. Of course, I never could figure out what that was all about. Barkley, David Robinson, Hardaway, Stockton, Dikembe. Olajuwon, Olajuwon, Worthy, R uh, Otis Thorpe, Marley, Marley, Ogman. All right, here we go. This is what, oh, uh, this is the card that I, every time I see this card, I'm like, God, the cinematography, just the, just the choice of photographs by Upper Deck, early Upper Deck was just awesome. Ramil Robinson was an absolute beast at <coughs> University of Michigan. Fox, Reggie Lewis again, Mikhail. Are these in team order? Okay, they are. So Chicago should be coming up soon. Larry Johnson, Kendall Gill, Pippen, Hogrants. Okay, so no Jordan, which is interesting. Hmm. So they must be in another box somewhere or something like that. Lajuan. What year did we say this was? 91? Yeah, I don't think there's going to be anything worth a damn in here. Magic base, bunch of base cards. Where's, uh, she's, um, seriously, come on. How sick is that card? Mailman, let's get through here. Whoa, six million point, man. I don't understand that. So, he must have scored the sixth millionth point in the NBA. How about Magic's moments with three images of Magic, none of which look anything like him? Nothing, not one, not one bit. Some moments. Uh, there is Fernando Gentile, the guy we've all been waiting for. Oh, that's right. Walter Magnifico. That's an awesome name. My guess is Walter was not Magnifico, though. That's just my hunch. Wow. He got hit with the ugly stick. Holy shit. Alberto Rossini. All right. I forgot about that. <laughs> In these European upper deck packs, they got a bunch of guys that were playing FIBA. Oh, here's another one. Oh, here's the Jordans. Okay. I was about to say, I'm glad I didn't get rid of the box because uh, let's just not take any time on any of these Italian basketball players. Uh, that's Juan Antonio's son, Epifanio. Javier Fernandez, Arcega, Via Campa, Andreu, Montero, Santi Aldama. That has got to be Santi Aldama's dad. Look at that. Santiago Aldama. Has to be his dad, the current Memphis Grizzly player. No question about it. That's awesome. That goes on Instagram. Those are the kind of cards I like to post on Instagram. Alberto Herreros. These are cool. 
Boston versus Indiana. Let's see if Jordan's on any of these uh, Chicago cards in here. Utah, Clippers, Golden State, Phoenix, San Antonio. Oh, here you go. Chicago, New York. There's Jordan right there. It's a Jordan Ghost card. So we'll pull this and just put it to the side. Yeah, I'm not grading those, man. But we'll put it to the side. Let's see if there's any more. Utah, Seattle. There's Chicago, Cleveland, but that's just Pippen. Portland, Utah, Chicago, Portland. That is not Jordan getting yammed on. And that is not Jordan getting yammed on. Okay, we'll flip those. So we got some Jordans back here in the back. Italian Jordan, these look good, man. These look really good on the centering. These are cards that'll go to PSA. You know, we'll take our chances on it. Cards on collecting, this is awesome. Another Jordan, so both of those. And then, um, the unfortunate passing of Drazen Petrovic. Sarunas Marshallonis is a good looking Akeem card. And then, of course, Ronnie Cycli. All right, so that's it for that. 91 Upper Deck uh, European slash Itali Italian slash Italy, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we'll put those back in there. We're good on those. All right, so that's one box down. Let's move along. We're gonna move on to uh, 19, god dang, man, what's wrong with me? 1993 Topps Archives. Let's see what we got to work with in Chia. This should be, I mean, this is gonna be a Bull Durham pack. This is a Bull Durham pack. That's when you know you've opened a lot of cross country collection boxes. I recognize the cigarette box by, uh, by the side of it. Bull Durham, guys. Bull Durham. All right. All right. So these are all going to be. Oh, cool. All right. We'll just put it just like that. I don't mess anything up. Uh, 1993 Tops Archives, one through 150. Okay. Uh, so these are supposed to be, you know, obviously printed in like the 90, 1986 Tops. Chuck Person, Rodman. Scott Skiles, and this is 87 Fleer Baseball, Muggsy, Gilliam, Mark Jackson, Kevin Johnson, McKee, Scotty Pippen, Kenny Smith, John Williams. This is, uh, I think, 88 Tops Baseball, I think is kind of what these resemble. God, these were really ugly cards, no offense. They were ugly the first time around. I don't think there's going to be much in here, hopefully... If there are Jordans, the Jordan, uh, if I recall, is is in kind of a reprint of the 84 Tops, right? Right, right, right. No, that's 88. That was 88 baseball, 88 Tops baseball. Chris Jackson, Gary Payton. That's, gosh, these are all, this is kind of where I started to phase out of collecting baseball cards, so I'm getting my sets confused. Okay, so those... Nothing special up in there. We got some checklists. Are these upside down or something? Yeah, okay, here we go. All right, number one draft pick, Brad Darty, throwback card, Mark Aguirre, James Worthy, 81 tops, right? Nance, Rambus, Buck Williams, Woolridge, uh, 82 uh, tops. Eric Floyd, Fat Lever, 83 tops. Sedale, three. Ron Anderson, 84. That's cool, Barkley. Whoa, this is the guy that was the Jordan stopper? Yeah, right. Not gonna happen. That hair is uh, special. Does he have braces on? Let's look together. Uh, I can't tell. He might. I'm not sure. The great Craig Elo. Terry Catledge, 85 tops here. 86, 87 again. 85, 86. Yeah, I don't think there's anything too special up in here. Take a couple of these out. Yeah, there ain't nothing worth. Okay, is this just gonna be more of the same? What do we have here? All right, number one draft pick, Aguirre, Worthy, Ralph Sampson, Dream, Ewing, David Robinson, Danny Manning, Purvis, Never Nervous Purvis, Derek Coleman, LJ, Mark Aguirre, Ainge, Eddie Johnson, Rolando Blackman, Chambers, Johnson, Lister, Nance, Rambus, Isaiah, Orlando. It's just more of the same, guys. Neek. That's a cool-looking Neek card. I don't think I've ever seen that card. 
Murphy, Thurl Bailey. He's 83. Remember these? This is Boggs and Gwen, baby. This is what you were chasing. Boggs and Gwen when you were opening 83 tops. 84, you were chasing, of course, Mattingly and Daryl Strawberry. Uh, Michael Cage's hair is just next level, dude. Just straight up. Just beautiful. Next level. Tony Campbell, Antoine Carr. There he is again. There's Preg Elo. We'll put something about that card on uh, Instagram for sure. Jay Humphreys. There's a Jordan. He's just freaking lurking in the shadows in terrible condition, but nevertheless. Kersey, Dream, Perkins, Alvin Robertson. Are these in order? 58. 57. 58. I don't know if it was a Jordan. 52. Did I miss a Jordan on the first? Let's go see. Did I miss a Jordan in here? No. Oh, maybe I did. I don't think that one's in order. Yeah, I don't think this one's in order. These were. Mm-hmm. Oh, boy. This is boring. Sorry. Three. All right. We'll just kind of pass through here. Three. So should there be another Jordan in here? Should there be a number 52 Jordan? 76, 72, 69, 64, 55, 53, 52. There's another Jordan. Ugh. Print lines on it and everything. There's all kinds of shit wrong with this one. I know it looks kind of good. It's probably going to look pretty good to you guys, but I noticed right away there's a print line running across the back. I don't know if you guys can see it. You see it right there? It's going between the five and the two in the top right, there's actually two print lines. Y'all see them up there? Yeah, I can't, can't grade those. All right, that's enough. That's enough of those cards. That's kind of – sorry, that's kind of a lame box. So digging for gold and have found – None. Found a couple of European Jordans so far that are, you know, going to run up the flagpole. And believe it or not, <coughs> they've been giving me some tens on some of these Jordans that are coming back. <coughs> I've got a hundred Jordan backs, a hundred, hundred Jordans back yesterday. Two shipments of fifty cards, all fifty in both shipment, both submissions were Jordans, and I got a uh, thirty-one PSA tens. That is over thirty percent, even in Louisiana. I know that sounds crazy. All right, now let's get to the goodies, right? This is this is kind of where you're hoping to hit some stuff that matters. And of course, love you for this, Bob. In a penny sleeve and, oh, nope, sorry. Just a top loader. <laughs> no penny sleeve. Well, that's not good. Hopefully it didn't bang around too much in my car when I drove these back across the country from Connecticut. Um, but the, uh, the rare Jordan Masters with the coating We'll just have to take a closer look at that card. We need to be real careful with it since there's no uh, penny sleeve in there. And let's go, let's try to pinch these and not damage anything. All right. Oh, yeah, this is this is going to be good stuff. I'm going to take small stacks here. Let me get this, uh, everything that's in a penny sleeve, let's get it out of the way. There's a Kobe that's really bent. So the Kobe Showstoppers. I'm pretty sure I sent one of those Kobe Showstoppers already. Um, and then let's see what we got here. Uh, Stackhouse, Kevin Johnson, Masters, Arrivals, Maurice Taylor. These are going to take forever because they're, they're not sticking. It's just you can't slide them because they got the coating on there. So it's kind of gooey. Gary Payton. Well, the Kobe needs to go in the graded pile, so you put the Kobe in a different pile. Jim Jackson, Michael Finley, Strickland, Hardaway, B.J. Armstrong, Leitner, Rice, Dumars, Fonzo Ellis. There's a Jordan. Jordan Showstoppers. Just the base. Just the base. Mercer checklist with a coating. That's always weird looking. Uh, silver. Okay, so a silver Defenders uh, Rodman. And then a silver uh, Penny Hardaway Showstoppers. Put those in there. Okay. And we've got some more. We got a Creators Gary Payton, Mash, Raheem, Steve Smith. I can't even begin. 
to ask why uh, Bob thought Tony Batty arrivals needed to go into a penny sleeve. That's odd. Uh, Bobby Jackson, Leitner, Stackhouse, Terrell, Chauncey Billups. There's another Jordan. Creators. Love it. Love it. Okay. Three Jordans definitely worth looking at. Joe Smith, Finley, Strick. Uh, ooh. Is this... Yeah, that's a McGrady rookie right there. That's a McGrady rookie that'll definitely be worth looking at. Can be. Stockton. Kittles, Mitch Richmond, Sean Bradley. I can't even tell who this is. Anthony Mason. Looks thin for Anthony Mason. Antonio Daniels, Barkley, Van Horn, Tim Duncan. That is a rookie card. That is a Tim Duncan rookie card. Duncan and McGrady. So both of those for sure worth checking out. The Tony Batty, no. But the Duncan and the McGrady, absolutely. All right, let's go back. Calbert Chaney, Loy Vaught, Tariq Abdul Wahad, Sean Elliott, Rodney Rogers, Anthony Mason, Bryant Reeves, David Wesley, Isaiah Rodder, Carl Malone, Mahmoud Ewing, Shaq, Tuan, Barkley, Rodman. It's a good looking card right there. Uh, Sheed. It's a Sheed rookie. Sharif rookie. Right? No. Sharif's 96. Oakley. Anderson. Kid. Anderson. Camby. Ray Ray second year. Sean Bradley. McDice. Billups. Detlef Schrumpf. Jason Williams. The Murderer. Kittles. Jalen. Reggie. Kemp. It's a bonus. Googs, Matumbo, Hornacek, KG, uh, Rex, Steph, Crocher, Chris Childs, and then Eddie Jones. And these are uh, these are exciting. These are fun to look at. I know we got more Jordans and more uh, more Kobe's coming too. Ball Hawks, Olajuwon, Sean Kemp. Hardaway, Rice, Vin Baker, Jim Jackson, Stoudemire, Larry Johnson, Spreewell, Lorenzen Wright, Kukoc, and Iverson Force. That's a good looking card, huh? Eldon Campbell out of Clemson. Tom Gugliotta, David Robinson, Jason Williams, Shaq Force, Grant Hill, Reggie Miller, Drexler, Eddie Jones, Catalyst, Rare. So these are must be, I don't know. I don't know this set. This set drives me nuts, dude. I sound like an idiot every time I try to talk about it. Tony and McDice, Bob Sura, Drexler, Glenn, Joe Smith, Larry Johnson, Mitch Richmond, Cycli, Tyrone Hill, Iverson, Masters, it says Common. Uh, Brent Berry, Stoudemire, Grant Hill, Stockton, Sprewell, Mookie, Blaylock, Samaki Walker, Ben Baker, Zoe, Brevin Knight, Danny Manning, Dream. Johnny Taylor is in a very good mood today, pointing and laughing. Great Johnny Taylor, Lorenzen Wright, Pippen, Lindsey Hunter, Penny, David Robinson, horse grant. All right, still cranking. I wouldn't say, you know, I think the days of digging through these boxes and finding like Jordan refractors or Jordan, you know, high end Jordans. I don't, I don't think there are any more. Uh, again, I don't know what boxes I have left. I might have boxes of only Jordan cards. I have no freaking clue, to be honest with you. I've just, I've just got them all in my gun safe at the house, and I'm just kind of going through them. Just grabbing five boxes at a time, Gary Payton. But uh, but you know, I mean, there's some gradable Jordan stuff up here. 97 Finest Jordan, I mean, you know that every time I pull one of these, I get a little bit of anxiety because I know I gotta peel the stupid coating off, which takes forever. 
not not forever to take it off of one card, but it takes it forever to take it off of hundreds. And I have hundreds of cards with coating. Jason Kidd. Hundreds of cards with coating, yes. God, it is hard to see their names at the bottom of this thing to see who's who. I'm better off just looking at the picture. I need to just look at the picture. Here's a Tim Duncan rookie. Tim Duncan debut. Definitely a great worthy card. Billups rookie. I mean, hell, let's put it up there. There's Tony Petit, not in a penny sleeve. Tim Thomas, Tracy McGrady, debut rookie. Donald Foyle, yeah. Madonna, Maurice Taylor, Crocher, Bobby Jackson, Olivier Saint-Jean, John Thomas, mm -hmm. Derek Anderson, Brevin Knight, Charles Smith, Johnny Taylor. Is he happy again? No, just normal. Jacques Vaughn, Anthony Parker, Paul Grant, Marbury, Terrell Brandon, Dikembe, Ewing, Pippen, Tuan, Carl, Sean Elliott. Hmm. Okay. Uh, one last handful here, guys. And I got a card with a penny sleeve. That's always a good thing. Let's go Pippen. Hardaway. Rick Smits. The Duncan Dutchman. Dale Ellis. Clyde Drexler. Steve Smith. Oh, gosh. These are getting harder and harder to flip. Cedric Sabalos. There's two of them. Sean Bradley on the back. Loy Vaught. Todd Day. Lynn Rice. Bryant Stiff of Nuggets fame. Catalyst. Man, these are getting really harder to slide out of my hands. Ray Allen. Marbury. David Robinson. Let's just go ahead and get the Jordan out of the way. There's the Jordan finishers. Tell you what, these look good, man. These look good. The coating does protect the cards. So, four, uh, four 1997 finest Jordans. Is that right by my count? Yeah, I think it's four. And then a Kobe. And then a Duncan and a McGrady. So, I mean, I look, in the grand scheme of things, I mean, I think that, that can cash flow pretty well, man. Not to sound... Uh, to investor type, but I mean, that's kind of where we're at. I mean, I have these, I own these cards in graded slabs, primarily PSA 10s already. So really all I'm looking for is, you know, pick up raw, send to, there's a cool looking Iverson Ballhawks card. Pick up raw, send to PSA grade and sell. That's what we're doing here. That is what's happening. That was a Garnett, by the way, Garnett Ballhawks. It's a good looking card too. Danny Manning trying to guard him. Not, not gonna happen. Uh, Rick Fox, Derek Harper. Why can't there just be a Golden Boss Refractor Jordan number to 74 in here, huh? McDice, Alfonso, Tyrone Hill, and then another Barkley. Well, that's some fun stuff. Uh, not too bad. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Um, you know, just to recap, we got the Duncan and the McGrady rookie that we'll look at. And then we've got uh, Jordan finishers, Jordan creators, Jordan showstoppers. And then we've got Jordan masters, which is going to have some value for sure. If I can get a decent grade from, uh, from PSA on any of these cards. So uh, you guys know the drill. You have to wish me luck on that one. Um, I'm, I'm starting to kind of like uh, mix Jordans and non-Jordans. Uh, and the reason I'm doing that is because all the submissions that I sent that were Jordan only, number one, the grades are coming back worse. So I feel like they're giving them to a Jordan grader, and he's a little bit more harsh. So I'm going to try to mix Jordans and non-Jordans and just try that theory and see if that changes my results. It's also taking longer to get back submissions that are 50 Jordan cards. The, the, the non-Jordan 50 card submissions are coming back quicker than the Jordan submissions. Um, and I'm also considering reducing my declared value uh, as that might dictate whether or not they go to the grumpy Jordan grader. So um, a lot of trial and error stuff going on here. Hopefully I'll have it figured out by the end of this thing. But uh, thank you guys as always for watching these Digging for Gold episodes. 
If I missed anything, let me know. And again, I'm sorry if I sound ignorant. I just can't possibly know, you know, whether, uh, you know, each and every card that I see has value in a PSA 9, you know, because that's kind of what you project is a PSA 8 or 9. And if it's a PSA 10, that's a grand slam home run. If it's a PSA 10 on any of these cards, any card that you saw in this video today, specifically the 97 finest stuff, it's a grand slam, man. I mean, I say grand slam, but I mean, it's it matters. Like, it's like 5X, 10X, whatever, uh, your grading cost. Uh, but a PSA 8 and 9 may be, may be 20 bucks. It may not be 20 bucks. If it's Jordan, you're going to be good with 97 finest. But, you know, with the other guys, you may be losing money. So um, i got to put these things over here to the side and use what has become, um, you know, my trained eye and do my best to guess whether or not these are going to get 7s, 8s, or 9s, or 10s in, in best case scenario. So uh, you guys know the drill. Rinse and repeat. Another Digging for Gold episode in the books. Thank you guys for watching. Keep collecting, stay positive in the hobby. Peace.